It's a new dawn for South African rugby in the same week that revolutionary changes have been implemented to South African rugby. Two unions directly affected face each other. It's the Sharks against the Southwestern District Eagles in the Supersport Challenge at Florida Park. Sweeping changes are set to restructure South African rugby for the better blending community, semi-pro and professional rugby. And what better a place to celebrate that than Florida Park in Ravensmead, Cape Town. It is the most beautiful winter's day in the Cape and the always vibrant crowd have turned out. And the weather, there's a bit of a wind. 40 k seems a bit firm. You can see the trees in the background. And this might be a bit of different conditions for the teams playing here. Certainly for Cape Tonians, it's nothing out of the ordinary. And Tigerberg plays from this club. And it is just such a beautiful, wonderful venue. And there's been music pumping. It is smells of bury rolls all over. And with many of the spectators having just celebrated Eid Mubarak, time for them to eat. Now, the Southwestern District Eagles side. Leighton X team is one of the remainders from last year's victory in the Curry Cup First Division. Marquette September has been scoring freely. And Wayne Volskett scored a hat trick in their victory in the final last year. Look out for him. And on the bench, Nell is certainly a player who has a lot of potential. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes on. However, Nortia has been playing well and keeping him off. And Mabenge, Mabenge, the prop, is a very strong runner. Oh, isn't that a beautiful sight? See families involved. This is what we aspire to, what we love. Looking at the Sharks side, they're coming with one of their darkest defeats last week against Eastern Province. Seven changes to the starting lineup. Only one reserve remains. Rizzi Mbobo, the captain, the veteran, the Springbok. Reino Smith is a brilliant player. He's been moved to the fly hop position. Reynard Yonka is, is, was in school last year. Jacques Ackerman is a player to watch out for. He was the Sharks under 19 player of the year. Uh, two years ago, and I'm looking forward to see Bandisa and Globo, a youngster, coupling up with Nkunu, and their bench has Maya as the sole remainder from the match last week off the bench. Now, I'm in the booth with a man born in Manchester, USA, raised in Nkwahu, proudly in the Eastern Cape, and yet still a beloved son of Pretoria, Fudge Ntumzi. My better, you know better than anyone. The way in which the changes that have been implemented this week to South African rugby will reposition the teams. How will it affect the two teams playing today? One of them a bigger franchise union, one of them a smaller side. A privilege and a pleasure to be here again with you, Anton. A new dawn on the horizon for South African rugby. Beautiful things happening, just like the people in the stands. It's an amazing time for rugby on this continent. Some changes are being made. Rassi Erasmus has brought in some cooperation between the unions of South Africa, coming together with some really interesting, the new contracting model that will be implemented. It will be so interesting. Less players will be contracted. It will go from about the 1,000 players to 400 next year. So not as many players will be contracted by the bigger unions allowing them to be picked up and getting paid by match fees to play in these other competitions and to allow, of course, other countries as well, like Uganda, Kenya, and Zimbabwe to see how they can get involved when the structure of the competition next year is sorted out. So really interesting things on the cards and a new dawn, which is so necessary and so good to see South Africa with the new innovation. Lovely stuff. There we see Wayne Wilshett, the Eagles captain. A huge game for them. The we hear, heard the head coach speaking about how it's a very important match for him to check out some of the combinations, get some continuity as they prepare now for their Curry Cup campaign. And Fudge, as you say, not only are they preparing for the Curry Cup, some of these players are going to be playing for contracts. The smaller unions such as Southwestern Districts are allowed to contract 23 players. They're not going to do that. They're rather going to contract maybe 5 or 10 and give match fees to players from clubs. Egan Seconds is officiating today. He is a man with a lot of pedigree. He made his debut in 2017 for the Sunwolves against the Hurricanes and has also played and commentated Test Match Rugby, having done Namibia versus Senegal in 2017. So great to have him today. It'll be so good to see him. Expect him to be at the right place at the right time. He used to be a winger. 
still got gas in those legs. And the game has begun. Reno Smith, who played fullback last week and had a cracker, now in the pivot position, restarts. Or rather starts the game. Now the Sharks have had a lot of positional changes. It could be that they're taking some of the youngsters to focus on the under-21 Curry Cup. Or it could be that they're trying to blood new players. That's not a great start from SWD. Buyon Boto is a veteran. Cleans it up. And now, bashed up on Mabenge. Volska, the captain, and certainly one of the stalwarts the side will be looking up to. Notia gives it our crash ball. And that's Marquit September. He had a great man of the match performance against Zimbabwe in Mosul Bay earlier in the season. So thus far the Eagles not willing or wanting to kick it. And they start off running. Mboto again. Fudge, what do you think of the strategy that they're doing, refusing to kick it and bashing it up? We heard the head coach Eddie Miners saying that they're going to try to starve the Sharks of the ball. Number seven. That time it's working for them. Sharks found offsides. I believe it was Vein and Krasman. So the strategy working for them so far. Of course, it's risky playing so close to your try line. You have to keep to your structures, be clinical in the execution of the game plan. Now that hasn't found touch, and oh, it was quickly snappled up. There may have been an error. Could have been a dream moment for the Eagles. This is the leg of black, and then knock over white. It came off the Sharks player's leg. And so actually, Shario Rosenkrantz came at it flying. He had collected that. Certainly it would have been a try. Never let the ball bounce. He makes that mistake and it almost allows Rosenkrantz to get away. Still a good exit for the Eagles. So Xavier Swart boy, nicknamed Zaba. He had a good match last week, I thought. Whips it out. And Loazi Mbovo takes contact. Now quickly out. Vian Foslu. He played his club rugby for Durban Collegians. Great play now for the Sharks. Bundles off the boots of XT. We'll have the line out. Both sides looking a little bit dodgy at the back. See Loazin Volvo, the captain, will be leading from the bank. More set up. Alan Colopy. He's on the bench recently for the Sharks Super Rugby side. And now this Moore getting some good forward ground. Marching forward, the Eagles having a bit of trouble stopping it. And will the game be comprised in the forwards there? Or was it going to be out in the backs? Smith takes a hard catch. And the defense was up quickly. Reynan Grasman there. Kuchlenberg. De Maza. So the mall has been collapsed illegally. We'll come back for the penalty. Just joining from the side there. Eagles' his defense being tested by what looks like a solid set piece at line out time for the shot. Fudge, do you think they're going to go straight to the mall or fire it out to the backs? I 
think they'll be pushing it up with that mall trying to draw the defenders in before they swing it out wide they've got so much firepower out wide with sas leolin reino smith luanda mgadi and then still was involved Alan Colopy, who played for Spanish side FC Barcelona, gives it in. As my colleague had predicted, Sharks use them all, pushing. It's collapsed. You see young 18-year-old Reynold Yonka waiting for the ball in the center position. Oh, 19 years old he is. Glenwood last year was a prefect. Now it's Kidian Kuchlenberg. Playing advantage, side number two. Thus far, the Eagles defense holding strong. Fosslua hands on it. He bashes a few extra meters and gains them. Kolopi. Glovu. Advantage to the Sharks. Got to overlap. Swat boy gets the pass out. Goes backwards off the hands. Ngadi. Release! Release! Swap boy now digging it out. Finds Kuchlenberg. And the Sharks open the account. Rewarded by fine phase play and tenacity. Good play, they kept it tight, kept drawing in the players of the Eagles. Xavier Swartboy controlling it well from the base of the ruck. They've improved. They were not good enough last week against the EP Elephants at ruck time. Totally dominated at the breakdown and at the collision point. So good to see them sticking to their structures and in their pods, using them well, the Sharks. Seven points up for the Sharks. Kidion Kuchlenberg. Shows good strength and look at the help coming in from his lock partner Lusaseni and Kwanda Dimaza, the number eight. That's what you want. Good shape in those pods, working well for the Sharks. They've improved. The forwards coach Mike Vowles will be very happy with that. You see, by the billowing hair there. State of the wind. By Xavier by Lusaseni, a veteran. And this is the interesting man we'll be talking about throughout the game. He played the full 80 minutes on Friday for College Rovers in their victory over Durban Collegians. Two point victory it was. And now, bursting through the center, Zas gets out the pass. Demaza. Finds his man, Reno Smith, gets out the pass. And that was forward. Wow. Well, that's the kind of dynamic, explosive play that Zas Leolin will bring. Good to see him moving from the winging position. We'd hope Reno Smith would just hold on to that. Tempting when Xavier Swampo is calling for it, an open try line in front of him. Goes for the one-handed pass and unfortunately it does not come off. It's called a 50-50 pass for a reason. Got to be five as well, eh? But wow, Leo Linzas coming in on a beautiful unders line. Zas himself played a lot of rugby in the, these areas. He was with the Stormers and got 15 caps. He's quite a young prodigy. SA Schools, SA Under 20, no! SAA. Last week he was wing, so Boy! 
see him moved in one. Set. Now Dylan Snell. Call him Sneller. Born in Mossel Bay. And as Fudge predicted, the Eagles using the bash up ball, trying to starve the Sharks. Pumped out. Good line there. Out now, Black. Kick now comes. And it's going to be another good attacking opportunity for the Sharks. Really difficult for the Eagles to get out of their 22. The wind is now pumping directly yeah, into the their faces. Yeah. If you look at the flags in the background. Option. Over the top it goes. Option. But at least six meters. Line outs. No, Super no. Sport Challenge. We've seen some hit no, and miss no, ones. No. Obviously, probably not helped no. by the wind. Uh, this will be very difficult. You want to take it up in the front. Low risk line out just to get your phases going to get the hooker warmed up. It's only been 11 minutes into this first half, so keep it conservative at the beginning. It's important to keep your momentum, otherwise, frustration starts seeping in. That's what gets your opposition going when they get those turnovers at unforced errors. Good. Eagles with another opportunity. Boing. Set. Okay, sorry, that's my fault as well. Sorry, that was my fault as well. Just patient on the gap. That was my fault. It's messy. It's messy. You mentioned the number five for the Sharks, MP Lusaseni, a late inclusion into the side. Sharks having some problems at, in the lock forward position last week, losing Andre Evans to what looked like a serious no. knee injury. I saw Stefan Levis, who's just recently Boy. had an operation as well. Number Set. five, super rugby lock. Good to see him in the mix. Snell, Notia, inside line. Marquis, September, they call him Seppi. Right decision there to hold on to it. There's a wall of Sharks players waiting for the intercept from Nortia. Grasman. And he <laughs> lost his shirt in the process. And the phase play from Southwestern Districts. Oman Grobla. They're doing well to hold on to it. Volskut. Volska turns 33 on Wednesday. Beautiful hands from the hooker, Xavier Skoltz. He also has a nickname, Zaba, just like Swart Boy of the Sharks. Whipped out, bashed up. Not coming off for Etienne Oersteisen. Big play there by Veynan Krasman. Can't play that risky offloading 50 50 rugby so deep in your 22. Sharks' defense up for the challenge. I was expecting to see the likes of Seppi September. Karat Nortia as well, maybe looking for the grub or the short chip. It's usually what works when you're deep in your 22 as the fullback and the wingers will be coming back waiting for you to exit. Swart boy went to Oakdale, which is within the Southwestern District's area. And that's Crumbs having some good forward ball. Legally intercepted. Well, no surprises there. They go for touch. Great left shoulder. Bandisan drove when Kutazan Imtunu doing good work. 
No surprises going for touch. The mall has been working well. They have to win the ball first, though. Kolopi straight to his man. Sharks looking quite fond of this rolling ball, and it's been walked over. Jacques Ackerman gets the second for the boys from Durban. That is not Kwanda Demaza. Great work coming in from Jacques Ackerman. Perfect line out, brilliant throw from Kolopi. Great jump from Timaza. Look at the setup. It's nice and tight. Too loose from the Eagles. And Jacques Ackerman, the Sharks under 19, player of the year in 2017. One of those up and coming youngsters for the Sharks. Up for the challenge. Eagles now. They must be scratching their head, wondering what to do. Not approaching this game with the right strategy. Playing from very deep in their no, 22. No, no. There has to be someone from there. Keeping it a little bit too predictable. But I'm wondering if the wind has a role in their tactics now. Maybe that's why they're not kicking it. I don't know. It's, it's, as you say, the strategy to starve the Sharks. Leno Smith now. Take it to 14. Doesn't add two this time. Well, exactly that, Anton. With wind this vicious, you have to, you have to play to the to the environment. You have to play to the elements. There we see Ackerman with a brilliant finish, great strength shown by the youngster. But at least look for the up and under, put some pressure on the Sharks. Very difficult to take the ball as it kind of moves back away from you with the wind. So the Eagles not getting it right, I think, with their strategy. Gerald Nortia, we saw once, I mentioned his hair. He was braised in Oatsun. He was a household name in the Varsity Cup and returned to SWD after that. Now the Sharks looking a complete team, much better than they did last week. The kick comes through the center. Well read by Eckstein. Eckstein's fielded it, gets out the pass. Fuyu Mbato. Good smashing tackle on him. He found himself a bit isolated and the Sharks have turned it over. That is a sensational kick upfield right off the touchline. Opportunity for the Eagles to have another run at it. Almost slips, but gets some good forward ball there. Pressure, pressure, pressure. So with the back line split, they opt to go left. And Boto, another good run. Isn't he a strong center? It's the captain. Wayne Volskut. Volskut made his first class He's debut first. at 28 years old in 282 days for Boerland. So, a bit of a late bloomer. It's going to be a scrum for SWD. What do you think they're going to do here, Fudge? Well, their first opportunity. Now, a scrum in a great position on the pitch. Be interesting to see what they do. Could you see that how the forwards are interlinking? with the backs playing very well. Solomon Mangotiti involved with that last bit of play. This is where Sepi September is a dangerous force, passing it to the right. Look for him coming in short. Go! Boy! Snell, a man who's a musician, lets Volskut feed it to him, whips it out, nice line, breaks through the first, Sepi September, ball stayed alive, he's lost his pants, but he's got the try, a small <laughs> price to pay, we're going to go upstairs. Thank <laughs> you. 
So it looks like they'll be checking out whether it comes off of his leg or if it's knocked on. Just remember we don't have a screen short, so I'm going on your... There we see Seppi September coming in on that short line, bursting through tackles. Wonder what he was trying to look for with that no look pass. <laughs> Excellent skills shown by Shario Rosenkrantz, though. He can show. Yes, you can stay with your on-field decision. Okay, on-field decision is a try. So I'm sticking to it. Correct. And it's a try. Seppi September makes it, but Rosenkrantz pushes on through. Lost his pants in the process, but no matter. And Fudge had just been talking about the strategy of SWD Eagles. They have now got themselves back in this game. What a big smile on Gerard Nutia's face. Look how the wind took that. No matter, two points added, but doesn't that tell the story of the conditions here? Exactly. Just the epitome of an inside centre line. Oh, ridiculous pass coming from Seppi September, but ridiculous skills shown from Sario Rosenkrantz, who finishes beautifully. The Eagles, first draw of blood. Reno Smith with a deep restart. Who else other than Seppi September takes it up? September was with the Bulls last year, but some injuries prevented him getting on the field and his contract wasn't renewed. He returned home to Heidelberg, played for Heidelberg RFC, and then was spotted for the Eagles. He's been a revelation for them this season. That's beautiful, quick hands. Still going. Mbato went for the pass. However, it's found his way into the Sharks' hands. Now moving through the hands to Marza. September knocks the defender into December. <laughs> oh, he's a hard man. Take a look at this. Ooh. Leo Linzas. Yep, wakey wakey. Seppi September, that's a big hit. This reminds me of Ma Nonu, doesn't he? Yeah. That burly sort of body. That was, that was a monster hit. A, a sort of Samoan. Look at him. That there is a unit. Leo Linzas exchanging a few words. What do you, if I, you've been a, you're a professional rugby player. What, what do you say when you've been smashed like that? What, what can you respond with? Well, I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> Why don't you try me again? <laughs> We're going to have a bit of a, a work done, I think, to... I thought it was the ref mic being fixed, but it might be some players receiving some attention, rather. Now, the Sharks want to take advantage of playing with the wind behind their backs. It'll be very difficult in the second half. Once the game gets a little bit looser, it opens up. That's where the Eagles like to play. It'll be very, very important to make sure that you start off this game solidly enough, give yourself an advantage so that in the second half you're not under too much pressure. Yes. Fine. Set. I'm just getting so excited at the thought of Seppi September having another crash ball. My wish not granted, but Mbato rather pumps through. Eagles now coming alive. Bearing in mind that the Sharks lost last week to another smaller union in the form of the EP Elephants. I'm sure that would have given confidence to the Eagles. Eckstein. And Eckstein often plays scrum off. He played scrum off for the Eagles in their first division victory. And another burst through the gap. This time, Mount Odidi. Defend strong this time. Eckstein doesn't get far. It's out quickly, however. 
Oosthuizen. Volskut. I'd venture to say that at the moment, the impetus, as, as I said, that cursed them, seemed to have shifted for a moment to the Eagles. Vuyomboto making a hash of it, but wow, they are running onto the ball beautifully. Good support coming in from Wayne Vilskut, the captain. You see Sneller doing the dirty work, cleaning up. Unfortunately, sixes and sevens unorganized. Looks like Jandre Dig, who's down. Hopefully not too badly injured. Will allow the big fellas a few moments to catch their breath. Well, one always hopes that there's not serious injuries on the field. And these men are veterans. What I want to ask is, imagine what it's like for Reynard Yonker. He was playing in school last year. Now he's up against the most dangerous man in the Eagles side, September, who's going to be running at his channel all day long. Our players are starting to be in the right condition at a much younger age now, and them coming in and having the opportunity to go up against some experienced players. Some of these guys have played in Italy, some of them have played in France, so it's, it's a beautiful opportunity for them. And it's good to see the Sharks. Ricardo Lopesha mentioned how they're trying to bleed in the new youngsters. Good to see them using this opportunity. Five. Well, some words of encouragement coming from the Eagles side. They're amped. There'll be a couple of people from their communities coming to this game, supporting the players. Kutazani Mtunu. His name actually means to encourage each other. The number three for the Sharks. He'll be looking to do that, the big man. Dirty scrum. Demaza works it out. The swipe boy. It's a good line there. Oh, no, hey, oh. Oh. Wayne Wolskett, the captain, on the wrong side of that ruck, not rolling away. Useful kick coming in from Reno Smith. The defense of the Eagles has been good so far. Over the top. No matter for the Sharks, it goes into their hands. Beautiful nutmeg through the leg. Now Ackerman gets that out. Big charging. Nkunu. One meter out. Sharks players queuing for it. And Glovu elephants his way over. Backwards. Backwards. He lost the ball backwards, wasn't forward. The heavyweights in the front row doing the hard work, making their weights felt. Bandisan Glovu with a brilliant finish. Had some experience in Bayon, the French club. Good to see Kutazani Mtrunu as well. Getting over the advantage line. Making it easier for Ndlovu. What did they promise you? <laughs> they didn't promise you. What are they going to give you? They were lucky to get that try. They missed the line out. Going for that middle ball. Looking to maul from that. <laughs> At that time, lucky to pick up the 50-50. Reno Smith converts. So up to 19 points now, starting to feel that advantage with the wind behind them, going for touch. They got the 50-50. That was Mkunu. Gets over the advantage line. Swarpo does well. Communicating Kuntlovu and great strength shown by the big man. Oh, 
Well, the wind making it difficult for the ball boys to gather that ball once it's been kicked. Yeah, there's a faulty ball, just leave this there. Oh, he's still got the skills, doesn't he? Egan Seconds. <laughs> he's having a smile, isn't he? One of the players who won a bronze medal at the 2012 Seven Circuit. It was the Commonwealth Games that year. Still has a love for the game. Good to see. Indeed he does. He says it took Mark Lawrence took a year to convince him to become a referee. And Mark Lawrence he says is one of his mentors and heroes. Now Smith. It's a handy boot, but what a take. Wayne Walscott. Nortia. Weighs up his options. Takes it into contact. You see Eckstein so often getting himself in the scrum up position. He's handy there. Snell, however, works it out. Put down. Boots. So the Eagles still trying to starve the Sharks of the ball. Playing a lot of rugby deep in their half. That time, Luando Mabenga unable to take it. It's risky stuff from the Eagles. Sharks not able to really capitalize from their mistakes though. Two sides to attack to now. Luazim Volvo joined the back line. He's in the mix. Perfect platform to launch an attack. Boy. Big push now from the Eagles. Demaza digs it out. Swat boy. Leland Zas. Through the hands. Well handed him. Gadi. And that has been ripped out. Amazingly kept in field. Mankodidi may have put a foot out. I think that's Francois Peters who's on the earth. Corner raised in Heidelberg. He's made to come and check out. Fudge, what do you think thus far of the game? Look interesting to see here. Zas, not the greatest of passes. Hard for Reno Smith to take it, but a good take from Luanda Mgadi on the wing. Looking dangerous is Leo Linzas. Spreading it out a little bit too early, perhaps. Eagles playing a little bit too much rugby and too close. I would have liked to see them use that boot. Karat Nortier is known to have a really useful boot on him. And that's just allowing the Sharks more and more opportunities to attack from. They aren't capitalizing as much as they should be, though. So the Eagles not under too much pressure yet, but you'd have to think that they have to hold out the Sharks from scoring a game as we enter the last 13 minutes of the first half. Now it's Leland Zassu's opportunity to get strapped up. He, is at school in Hermanus High, just up the coast. Play doesn't wait for him. The ruck set up, host of players waiting for it. Uno encourages his fellow players to move forward with him. He's one of several Glenwood players in the side. In fact, there's a huge amount of Glenwood boys here. Kuchlenberg, Ackermann. Quick service from Swapboy, changes direction, and that has been intercepted. Wurstes in the big lock. Play Falker, Craven Week. Continuing with their style of bashing up, Mantodidi. Now a space, Nortia puts in the kick, bounces straight to Mbolsi in Volvo's hands. Mbolsi is in some trouble. See Eagles taking him down, worked out quickly. Through the hands, and knocked on. So it's going to be scrum for the Eagles. 
And that's the experience a player like Loise Involvo turned 33 last week. Said it was 23 last week. <laughs> the twos and threes got stuck in my teeth. Now, Fudge, just because he plays like such a young man, you are easily forgiven for, for that switch up. Now he shows his experience there by anticipating that play. Karat Nortia going for the right option, unfortunately covered well by Loazim Volvo. Kept the ball, kept on his feet, was able to recycle it, and Sharks making a few too many handling errors, both sides in fact. I wonder if it's the wind that's making it difficult. It can be difficult to pass as, as, as difficult as, as kicking when the wind is this powerful. Territory 70%. The Sharks playing the rugby in the right areas. Five. Set. Great the whole time. No worries, a little bit of stability on that side, we'll fix it. Hold the bike, there's a set. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Nella feeds it. Sturdy scrum. Notia. September. Comes with a shark's hand. Rosencrantz. Flings it back. An advantage was being played. Eagles have a scrum. So, quite scrappy. Rosencrantz holds on there. He's isolated, so he has no choice but to throw it back. And unfortunately, the big man and captain Wayne Wilskett unable to pick it up. He would have had to have some really good cricketing skills to pick that one up. Kershwin Mono comes on. He was one of the players nominated for first division play of the year last year. So good talent for the Eagles. Good to see him having an opportunity. Five. Set. Now, Volskut feeds Snell. Nortia gets it over the top. September puts a boot to it. Into the Sharks' hands. Via a knock on. Ngadi. Ngadi bursts through. And without any opposition standing in his way, he crosses over for another try for the Sharks. Luyan Damgandi with the second try of the tournament. It's still scrappy, but look at that. The dancing feet. Silky, smooth, nifty play from Mgadi. Classic winger try. Does some good work. And the Eagles caught in sixes and sevens. Their defense in the back line. Starting to slowly but surely move away for the Eagles side now. Moreno Smith easily pots it over. Falls to the ground. Oh, look at that step. Wrong foot, Mboto. And then it's all the gas. Luyanda Mgadi, 21 years of age, scores his second try of the tournament. Eagles need to start keeping it simple. They're not getting it right with ball in hand. Maybe look to use Nortia's boot, put it up in the air, get into some chasing lines. A few too many handling errors coming from them. Nortia, who is the second highest point scorer in the 2012 Varsity Cup, restarts has been taken by Mank Odidi. Mank Odidi, he's been impressive. Plays for progress in Crusaders and George, both those clubs during his career. Snell, Mabenge, he was a star at Fort Hare University. 
used to play club rugby for Selkirk in Scotland. Rolls get silky hands from him. Seppi September. And September has said it's his ultimate aim to play Super Rugby. So where we'll be seeing him in years to come. Now bashed up advantage. by Etienne Oosthuizen. Playing advantage. His club rugby history includes Pirates in Johannesburg. Eagles now looking pretty good. Bearing in mind they're playing into the wind. Good momentum for the Eagles. Oosthuizen still going. Snell. Snell, Skoltz, Volskut, cleaned up, oh. Zaba Skoltz, Eagles on the attack, five minutes left, desperately they'll want to add five or seven to their points, Volskut, the big 32 year old, almost 33, puts his head down, and that is a penalty for SWD. So the Eagles looking to get something before half time. Sorry, Captain. The intensity is there. It looks like the players are reacting well to each other, working off the ball well. Both. Just not being clinical enough. Both times, number 13 was both. With their handling, losing concentration, playing a little bit too loosely. Yes. Yeah, but it was advantage for penalty. Wilskut, he'll always look to go over the advantage line. Does so well there. Decent clean coming in from Mboto. Not supporting his weight, so can Gerard Motier capitalize? So they get three points on the board. Good decision for the Eagles. Reno Smith with that win gives it to September, who now puts it to his boot. And we'll have a line out inside the Eagles half. The line's the middle. That is a very good exit against a very powerful win. Play on. Into the hands of the Sharks. Kunu. Yonka, fine hand, swat boy. Smith, unbelievable, angelic, beautiful hands. And Leyland Zuss benefits from some stunning stellar interplay. Wow, Leo Lenzas finishes off what is simply splendid play. Lusase and he shows his good hand pass it. Beautiful cutout pass from Tonu. Behind the back to Swart Boy. And look at that. Quick silky hands from Reno Smith. We expect that from him and a good finish from Leo Linzas. We're going to have one more kickoff after this. So many talented, flairful players in that Sharks backline. That's one of them. And he gets closer to the ball in that outside center position. Wow, that was beautiful. I'll tell you, Reynard Yonker showing why. Just a year out of school, he's in this side. Beautiful hands. And then this man with the kick, capping it off. Right through the middle, Reno Smith adds two. Oh, this is brilliant. Look at that. No look pass. Reynard Jonker, the youngster, with all the confidence. And Reno Smith, we know what he can do. Simple enough for Zas. Good finish. MB Lusaseni does so well to recover that lost ball at the line out, missing his jumper just like to apologize there was a late jersey swap for the Sharks so 
Mukendi is actually playing in jersey number 11 and number 14 is Ngadi. So we apologize for the mix up as now Swatboy gets it out through the hands. Yonka, that's Mukendi. Mukendi bashes into the sideline. Doesn't matter what jersey he has on, he's bringing the peace, the pace, and the heat. The man from Lububashi, Zaire, played at Glenwood. Can you believe he had a scholarship to play hockey and cricket? Talented man, a complete athlete. He ran the 110 9. So he's just 16, so as you say, he started playing cricket with Andile Pelequayo at uh, South Coast KZN. And this is the moment where he was bashed out. It will be half time as well. Keep it out. Yeah. Does well to beat uh, the he'll, first he'll defender. Take, uh, if it's grounding or not. Yeah, and he knows it. <laughs> so, we, if you give it, if we play two advantage like you give it, they need to fix it. You can show. Just show. You can stay with your own field decision in touch. Okay. No try. <laughs> half time. Uh, that is half time, and despite some moments where the Southwestern District Eagles had some moments of brilliance and try to hold on to the position the sharks this first half just a more complete team they've shown some stunning passing some stunning interplay and they've been rewarded with some really brilliant moments of excellent attacking play and at half time in florida park the sharks lead the eagles 33 points to 10. <laughs> It's Super Sport a Rugby Challenge glory in Florida Park and at halftime the Sharks lead the Eagles 33 points to 10. It's a great time for sport this year and my advent calendar says that we only have 103 days to go until the Rugby World Cup in Japan. My belief is there can only be so much suffering we can endure after the cricket and the results we've been seeing for the protests. Nonetheless, hoping that the protests pull through in their remaining matches and of course at the Springboks in Tokyo. Bring a vibe like this man with the flag. And it is always a wonderful time at Florida Park. There's a okay. strong wind it's blowing. It'll be interesting to see now how the Eagles play. They had it. <laughs> Gerald Nortia relishing kicking with the wind behind him. Ackerman, oh, he scored, oh, no, that's beyond Foslu actually. Ackerman it was, he scored in the first half. Stay connected. Long one back and there's been charged down Snell. 22. He did well there. Boined off him. The Sharks will be looking to get some more power in their kicks for distance, which means they'll take longer to kick, so good to see Sneller coming in and putting good pressure on him there. Francois Peters involved. Okay, you see the wind. Reno Smith still with a big boot, but it is pulling back those kicks. Yeah. Option. Set pieces will be vital for the side trying to get into the lead in this match up here. Sharks have a large lead, 23 points. So a mountain for the Eagles to climb. But with the wind behind their backs, if they're able to execute a strategy here and take advantage of that, they may just have a chance at getting, getting the W. I agree with you, Fudge. Crouch! Mine! Same standards as before, three engage on that side, please. Both of you just keep your bone. Backline of the Eagles, even no the yeah. camera. Stay patient. I'll shout a bit louder. Just don't pre engage. Let's go, back four, back four, back four. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go, Bandy. 
Takes it, gets out the pass. Snell. Man, that is an opportunity missed for the Eagles. Okay, yeah, fourth dead. Can't take it looks quick so good. He can't take it quick. Ball's dead. Ball's dead. Off that scrummage. Saw them using Seppi September. Hopefully Great effect. Little close Not to coming off right six, there. Close to Colopy, Demaza, Swart Boy. Inside pass, Glovu. <laughs> he was the head boy historically for four trekker high. And he hails from Escort, which is a town famous actually for its bacon. Zava Swapoy, Smith sends it high. Sharks players up waiting. Knock on advantage uh, to Sharks' hands. Great pass, but it goes to non jersey color. Knock on of white. There's that up and under strategy I was talking about. The Sharks using it very well. It was a good chase. Very difficult for Exton to take that as it shifts away from him towards Oops, sorry, his opposition. Sorry, sorry. And of course, Loise Involvo almost getting that chicken wing pass away. Scrums have been going well for the Eagles. Equal amount of handling errors. Sharks making Coach. sure they capitalized on those in the first half. Fine! Set! Scrums have been good today, I think. Take it out, nine. The Sharks throwing it forward, and he is through. Demaza, the Dale College boy. Eventually tackled by Mankotidi. Glovu. Kolopi. Some great runs from the forwards of the Sharks. Kolopi gets up, then he slammed down. He's a Kersney boy himself. Lusa Seni. Foslua. Some attacking, exciting play from the Sharks. Swat Boy sends it blind. Loazi and Bovo. The Springbok. Debuted eight years ago against Scotland. Get up, eight! 24. Now through the middle, Swart Boy. Just short. Sharks don't have any players out wide. First man in. Holding on. First man in. Great work being done by Vuyo Mboto. Getting in there, getting his hands on the ball and coming away with it. Sharks looking dangerous. MB Lusaseni with a brilliant short pass to Vian Foslu, putting him through the gap. Great to see he takes his fitness seriously, MB Lusaseni. There you see him cleaning. That's it. Yeah, they can come Isolated, unfortunately. Look at the strength from Mboto. Fantastic play from the Sorry. outside Sorry. center. Nice job. Nice job. Nice Time is nice up. Nice Just keep him. Hold him. Hold him. Are you, we're just making a decision? Okay. okay. You got your replacement on? Happy? Reynard steers onto the field. Oh, my God. Comes forward with a hand. Sharks now the opportunity to attack again. Swart boy. Weiderman. And Rodgers is over for the knockout. Globu. Sharks is starting to bully the Eagles. He missed it. He missed it. Good interplay. Glover, he's been impressive running today, hasn't he? Absolutely magnificent the way he's passed the ball and run onto it. No, get out, no. no, 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 no. Ball's not out. Over exuberant counter racking from the Eagles. Sharks get it out. Smith inside to Mbobo. Smith, backwards from Ackerman's yeah. hands, fields it well. Tackle! 
He bends over like a try. And he has. It was almost Stay turned out over. over. Swap boy. Hails it up. Smith backwards under pressure. Gets out the pass. Advantage is over for the knockout. Rosie on Bobo. <laughs> the pass. Ngadi. <laughs> Still going. Reno Smith. Loops round, but we're going to be called back. I think that pass may have been forward. Oh, great refereeing from Egon Seconds, allowing them to play the advantage. Knock on. That allowed luck. the Sharks to get the ball wide. They swing it wide to Mgadi. Mgadi pops it through to Reno Smith. Unfortunately, it's a forward pass and time's up. Sharks were looking so dangerous when they swing it out wide. So good to see him moving from that fullback position into the fly-off position. Against an Eagles side who throw the ball around and are quite loose. He's having a field day out there. Yeah. Knock on by Black. The props Bandisa and Zovu and Kutuzani and Chunu. Crouch! Fine! Set! Solid scrum. Snell. Not here. Exceed. That boot assisted by the win, but Lazio Bobo alive to the threat. Now, 33-year-old with the opportunity to run. Swap point. Some acrobatics advantage. on the defense. He it's gets up. Advantage for high. Advantage for, I think it was a high tackle. High tackle. It was 15, Egan. Number 15. Xavier Swartboy supporting Lazim Volvo, who has been magnificent at the back, always perfectly placed, attacking the line, bringing it up, finding his support. 24 Volvo, Christian. 24. Who passes it into Swartboy. Here's the high tackle. I'm not sure if it's Seppi September or Exgen. Exgen it was. Parks now comes on for Chasman. Benan Chasman had a useful day at the office. Played hard, carried well. Fine! Set! Swap boy. Smith. Options are plenty. Knocked forward by McKendy. Fudge, what, what do the Eagles need to do now if they want to come away with this victory? Yeah, we see almost a perfect line run by Mukendi. Probably a miscommunication, not expecting the ball. The Eagles have tried to use their boot, haven't they? But Raz involved was just fielded all of their kicks. He's just so perfectly placed. They're also basically trying to play off the scraps of the Sharks. And most of the time, being in their 22, very difficult to get out of there. Now a big... It's up, it's up. Bigger push from the Sharks. I feel like they're getting quite excited. Same step. Huge shove coming in from Kutazani Nkunu. Kolopi and that man in Zovu. Okay, so it's not all about the champagne time rugby. Off. Huge passes they've been making. It's also about the hard, gritty work in the front row. Doing well, the tight yeah, five for the Sharks. I've been very impressed. They were there. dominated yeah. by an EP elephant side that were like banshees. So hard, the There's rugby no we watched last week. Anyone. Good to see Stay them up. stepping up. Okay, guys, guys, okay. You guys are you're fooling around with the mark here. Here's the mark. 
Don't move from it. I'm giving, making it easy for you. That's fine. Stay there. Gideon Kuchlenberg has also raised his hand, dominating in the contact. Crouch! Fine! Set! Snell! Take it out! See, it's a pretty well contested scrums today. Up again, up again, same scrum. Okay, let's move. Let's move. Okay. It has been a huge battle at scrum time. Okay, boys, let's get closer here, please. 17. Okay, Rose front the stand rows. is just great. The stand, you can change. Up for the challenge. Time off. Gives us time to just have a chat here, let him change his jersey. Listen, front rows, both sides. Standards were great the first half, right? No forward That's how tough it's it been both sides, in that tight five. When it comes. So I need you to Jersey's to the being ripped. The first half. Okay? I've given you time to settle in. I know you, you're new on the field, but you have to stick to the same standards that the team had before. Wow, that's deep from uh, the referee. Yes. I know you're new to the field, you can see, but Time you have to on. stick to the same standards that we've been used to. Let's get in, please. Okay, now stay there. Luando Makeke, Makenge, previous star of the Forte Blues. He played in Scotland as well for Club Selkirk in 2016. A couple of players Cross. playing overseas. Fine! Set! Eddie! Eddie! And squeeze! And squeeze! Pulskit. Gives it out now. Some pace for the nippy winger. Mono. It's a fine dancer. Plays for Barbarians. In Muscle Bay. Out now, Black. Grand Parks. To school Harmony Sports Academy in Virginia. Quick hands now. September. Takes contact, rolls, presents it back. Wurstazen. Notia. Eckstein. Eckstein went to Otaniqua. We're up in Riversdale. Now the Eagles building some momentum. Nortia. Parks. Work blind. Decker. Off now, 19. Off. Baran Parks. <laughs> Played a lot of his rugby for the Griffins and then returned to his hometown. George to play for the Eagles. Out quickly now. Good phase play. This is the 10th phase now for the Eagles. Men out wide. Nortia. Misses X team. Mono. This man can dance. He's into some units, however. Steers. He's got it. He's got it. Sharks is on it. He's got the ball. Now has to dig in and get it out. It's popped out in Volvo under pressure. XT does well in the defense. Demaza now wrapped up. Mukendi, the man born in Lumba Bashi. Zaia. Would have played SA under 20, but some citizenship issues prevented and hindered him. Advantage is over for the knock. Another knock on. Now some troubles for the Sharks. And Mgadi. Off the white end in the tackle. Egon Seconds tells us what happened. Came off of the Eagles play in the tackle, so it's a knock on. This is what the Eagles need to do. Keep the Sharks down here. 
try to capitalize off of the mistakes. Sharks are getting playing a little bit loosely now as well. Okay, you had it. It's so interesting to see what they do now. They're a little bit too close to their try line to use that up and under. <laughs> Interesting to see if they actually go for it anyway, since they're in the lead <laughs> by 23 points. Or if they'll look to set it up, stick to their structures, go for touch. Still the Eagles struggling to spend time in the Sharks 22, although possession is pretty much equal. Coach! Fine! Set! Big push from the Eagles. You can see they want it. Demaza. The man is into space. Demaza. The big man still going. Advantage. Advantage. Now coughs it up. Advantage. May not Jonka breaks it up. Playing the ball on the ground. And wonders what might have been if that pass had gone out to swap boy. Playing the ball on the ground. Well, some people will call it greedy from Gwanda Dimaza, but the lanky eighth man. Isn't it wonderful seeing him stretch his legs? Very poor defense from the Eagles. Take nothing away from this man though. Even Swartpo is struggling to catch up to him. Some may call that greedy. I think it's the right decision. Out. Comes with the fingers, but bear in mind it is getting pretty windy down there. Snell, Nortia, advantage over for Kick the comes on. in, it's into space. Volvo, who has over the past half decade really worked on his defense and work under the high ball. As well as his kicking. Sharks now using their big men. This time, some good defense from Baran Parks. Swipe boy, Smith. See, I've been really impressed with Rano Smith over this oh, no, challenge. Oh, no, Man, he can oh. do it all. 17, not rolling away. Dear Valdeca, the man penalized that time and discipline just letting the Eagles down. Two and 13. It's good defense, nothing on for the Sharks. Good tackle coming in from Anton Smith, but unfortunately Decker not rolling away. And although the Sharks have had problems with their lineouts, see Michael Mayer comes on now for Cullen Colopi. He played very well. Michael Mayer gets the throw, and he's a, been captain most of the teams he played in. Paul Ruiz, Western Province Academy, and Sharks in the 21. Stay bound, 16. Sport, That's fine there. Stay bound. Now, Swart Boy goes on the dotting run. Fine handle for him. Finds the pass. Sharks regrouping. I can tell you there's some big men hungrily waiting for it. Goes to that big prop. Kutam Tunu. He was a top academic at Glenwood. 85% term average. Now Michael Mayer, the man we were speaking about, he gets an opportunity. Swart boy. Vosluer. Throw away now. Vosluer was born in Paul. Now through the hands. Mukendi. That's a mall now. He was corrected earlier. That's a mall. I don't call it Zaire. He was Gotta born use in Congo. It. That's not coming and out. Gets That's not coming wrapped out. up in the midst of a big mall there. Some strong defense from that man, Vuyo Mboto. This channel has been sealed airtight. Usually plays wing, 30 year old, born in King Williamstown. A world of experience. Over a hundred senior caps. New personnel again. Same Played same for man. the Griffins, also yep. border. It's been so solid on defense for the Eagles. Yeah. 
Ilunga Mukendi, no slouch, difficult to hold on Can an athlete like that. Fine! Leaning in. I just asked that. Tap and go from the Eagles. Notia, Eckstein. Eckstein shows his pace, now bullets out the pass. Mono puts in the boot. Eckstein is in pursuit. What a diving catch, John T. Rhodes. Eat your heart out. Zaba Swart Boy, and he's got a little bit of cramp for his efforts. Uh, just a little cramp. Wow. That was some brilliant cricketing skills over there. Diving catch. <laughs> Obviously, he's been watching the Cricket World Cup, which is on currently. Mamono does well to kick it here. Brilliant to see a number nine covering no, like that. Okay. Xavier Swartpoy, take a bow. Excellent okay, rugby. Let's go, boys. Put up his hand no, for the mark. The Great awareness of mine he as he there, was cramping. But he's still okay there. He has to take the mark because he marked it. <laughs> it's that magic ice that comes on. Okay, let's go. Looked like Leighton Exton was right behind him. If that ball had bounced, looked like it could have been a yeah, try for the on. Eagles. So, exceptional defensive work Don't coming on. in from the little scrum off. Yeah, yeah, I want 10. Yeah. Played at all the junior levels at KZN. Tapped. Now, Smith hoops it upfield. Finds touch. <laughs> Steers in the lineup doesn't go playing in there as it was intended. No matter though for the Eagles playing in there. So Etienne Urstays and has played in the air. That penalty couldn't have come at a better time. Should be able to find some good distance on this Exion. Good throw. That's your mark. Reynan steers. Eagles can be so dangerous launching an attack from set piece. Steers to Urstazen. More. Now marching forward. Some good go forward ball for the Eagles. He's burst down the blind side and bashed out a fine tackle from Ilunga Mukendi. Great defense, stays alert. Okay, so you can't take it quick. Let's go, stay up. Focus. Looked like there was a little gap. He saw Ndrovu was caught up in the mall, but brilliant covering from Mukendi. Option. Sharks have had problems Option. at line out time. That Point one's up. thrown in skew. Not straight, they're taking a line out. This is where the Eagles are dangerous. We saw what Sepi September can do from a scrummage. Yep. And that's just clearly skew. Going to that middle yeah, ball, very ball difficult with this much wind. So that close to the try line, maybe a conservative approach is better. Worst takes oh, oh, now. World the Eagles. That's your own man. Get their way. If they want to win this game, they really advantage. need to now dig in. It's a high tackle by number nine. They've got advantage. Zavia Swart boy put in the high tackle. And the Sharks monstering on the counter. The rack. Around the neck. Number nine. There you go. Number nine. Shock off, shock off. 
X-Team will say we'll go for touch, we'll have another go. That last mall dominated by the Sharks tied five. On the line. Have been dominating the point of collision so far. The one before was perfectly set though. They made some good ground. Interesting to see what happens here. Another attempt for the Eagles. Steers. Well, that's a good Ball. take, I must say. Anton Smith, I think it was. That was skew. Knock the ball on. And the whoops of the Sharks say it all. Knock the ball on. It's one of the worst things is when the line out is thrown in skew away Ball from you, to not even towards ball. your side. Would it actually be an advantage to the opposition? I used to hate it when that was called against me. It doesn't really make it any easier, does it? I'm um, Anton for myself when it's thrown onto my, my shoulder, but skew nonetheless. And uh, <laughs> unfortunately, they don't go to the front of that line out, which they did well okay, before they risked that middle ball. Yeah. Very difficult with this wind. Not just for the Sharks, the Eagles as well. So not getting it right that time and lost opportunity. Set. Swap away. Smith. Juncker. Volvo. Volvo's got some wheels in him. The pass gets knocked back. Back into him. Volvo's hand. Rizzi and Volvo bursting down the tram line. This man does not age. Gets the try for the Sharks. And what an individual bit of brilliance from the man from Mtata. Luazi Volvo does well to hold off from Boto, and then it's a foot race. The 33-year-old looking like he's 23. Brilliant, Luazi Volvo. Stunning performance by him today. Reino Smith, I've got to say, I saw him playing guitar in a YouTube video. An exceptional guitarist is Reino Smith, if you can believe it. Well, I'm sure you can. He's multi-talented on the rugby field. He now goes to take the Sharks to 40. Slot set, the man can do it all. No, he splits the sticks. But look at this man. I said he was 23 last week. I must have been confused. He is looking fresh. Still got the speed. World of experience. What a finish by the 33-year-old. Reno Smith, you say he was a guitarist. He yeah. does have a sort of artful way of playing the game as well. So many skills, so s silky to watch. Notia bounces awkwardly. Demaza gets it, works out. Oh, and heartbreakingly for Mgadi. Option. Slip through the fingers. The option now. Oh, that would have been good to see Mgadi. With some open green in front of him, the 21-year-old. Look how brilliantly Guanda Dimaza draws the play with the step. Unfortunately, I think Mgadi was excited, just as excited as we were, to see him stretch his legs and have a go. Look, I don't keep the bone, please. That's Sean Barnes, who's come on now. I need the gap. 19 years old, the youngster from DHS. 
what an opportunity for him. Coach. Fine. Sit. Another sturdy, sturdy scrum. Borskut. Van der Best stays in. Seppi September. Wrecking ball he is. Van der Best stays in. Deke. Born in Somerset West, just down the road. Van der Best stays in now, gives it to Steers. He bashes it up. The moment of the game, where the Eagles are looking good. As I say, that knock on goes to the grass. I'm sure we're going to have a scrum or a line up. Yeah. Either way. So, so it's a knock on. Two knocks, so it's going to be a scrum. Been so impressed with the defense of the knock Sharks 15 side. Just let it come back up. Also hugely impressed by the huge yeah, shove coming from side. Sean Barnes. He's up against Andre D. He's been at the Eagles all the way through. So experience versus the youngster. Wonderful learning opportunity for him. Keep it up. Kyle Gerard. Played scrum on for a man's and toti. Glenwood, old boy as well. One of, as I said, many. Demaza, he's had a pretty good day on the field today. Showing his running and athletic abilities. Reno Smith, and no look, pass! Puts a man into space. Mgadi, down the tram line. Eckstein steals at a soft pass to Van der Vestazen. And the Eagles now regrouping. September, runs into Mayer. Man Odidi. Wurstazen gets it out quickly. Van der Vestazen. Ryan van der Veer stays in. Gives it to the back line. XD, cut out pass. Men out wide for the Eagles. Kershwin Mono. What a corkscrew, what a step until he runs into the quite gigantic frame of Vian Foslu. It's a burst advantage. through the center. Field advantage for high tackle. From well Hold taken there, must be said. That's Devon now. Now, it was a mercurial fly off for UJ. He was the top point scorer in the 2016 Varsity Cup. We mentioned how Nortia was the second highest point scorer in the 2012 Varsity Cup. Now, ripped out, we might go back to advantage. Good work from that man, Vian Foslu. <laughs> but we'll come back for the dangerous tackle. See it here. It's a handbag. He does well to pull out of that tackle, does Guanda Dimaza. Look at the hard work from Vian Fosu, though. Good, basically, a great symbol for the defensive effort from the Sharks today. It's been brilliant. That man, Shario Rosenkrantz. Try scorer for the okay, Eagles. Okay, Hopefully he's okay. He's actually a fitness trainer as well. I tackle. But uh, very considerate of the support staff there to sweep him off his feet, literally, no, <laughs> and carry him off. May we all have support staff like that in our lives. Fudge has never once swept me off my feet, so <laughs> hope springs eternal. As that's a pretty fine kick. Extian with the huge kick. Massive. Only seven meters from the try line. Their maul has looked good. Will the Sharks block that front ball, though? Steers to Oersthausen. Oh. Oh, 
Collapse. Yeah. Just two. In the air and collapse. You gotta keep it positive here now, boys, every time we come here. So a line out fudge. You said yeah, last time I think they opted to throw it a bit too yeah. far. Do you think to the front this time? Uh, Etienne Urs stays and has dominated that front ball. Doesn't look like the Sharks are competing. They're looking for the sack up in front as well. So interesting to see what they choose. More taken by Smith. Now the mall set up. Is there another try in store for the Eagles? All eight men marching their way forward. They are making some forward ground. The Sharks doing their best to collapse it. They have advantage. What number is that? Seven. Forwards are going to have a crack. Lewis stays in. Joined by Grasman. Grasman from dispatch high now. Smith puts his head down. One of the best days and telling some men to go left of him. Still advantage. Works it out. Still the advantage now. Eckstein misses it. Bought off. advantage for the veteran. Man who attended Lukosi High School in BB Neck. Next team, right, left, then into the hands. Marquis September. Next one goes to the bin. Number you heard seven. That warning. Why is that, Sider? Next one goes to the bin. And was Vian Forslu. Seven. And referee Egon seven. Seconds has warned them nicely. Needs to remain okay. positive. Sorry, next one goes to the, the defense that close to the line. Good to see. Great take from Anton Smith in the middle of that line out. Got some good momentum with the last mall. The Sharks too strong on defense though. More. Smith takes it, another fine line out from the Eagles. Keep it 19, don't change that bind. Four meters out. Boyum Barta joins the party. And they've done it. Rewarded by not giving up. The Eagles push their way over. It looks like Dear Valdeca who gets in. <laughs> the big man, the big Thank celebration. You. Lovely smile. Oh, it's a great take from Anton Smith. Good throw from Steers. The setup is Good tight. Up. They're patient. They keep it rolling. They keep it rolling. Good Strong up. work from Decker to get over. Diva Nell was nominated for first division player of the, of the year last year. It was won by Etienne Taliad of the Falker. He's been a good servant. And he says he knew at grade six that he wanted to be a fly half. So here is Alton Junchies. Perfectly slotted. Two more to the Eagles. And what, do they have anything left in store in these last two and a half minutes? Capitalizing well on the ill discipline of the Sharks. Anton Smith takes a good line out. They set it beautifully. And that man, the big Dierval Decker finishes off September good Aussie rules catch and then some judo as he throws the defender over his shoulder multi-talented multi-sport X team steer beautiful stepping and a pass Reynard steer Look at the hooker run! Planted into the ground, gets out the pass. Etienne Oersthuizen goes down, gets up, charges forward. The Eagles now looking hungry for another try, but sadly for them, it was a knock-on. That's just so unlucky for Etienne Oersthuizen. He's been a workhorse today. So is that man, Vuyomboto. Chicken wing seven. pass. Look at that. High knees. Off he goes. Reynard steers. Okay, we need him. Also beautiful offload to Urstazen. Shows good strength, but 
brilliant defense to rip the ball away. But we need him. We need that guy. Yeah. Okay, One so minute the left. The, the last game of the season for both these sides. Things are looking so good for the Sharks. Youngsters have stuck up their hands, haven't they? Jacques Ackerman was one of them. Mukendi has been brilliant. And of course, the experienced yeah. captain, Loazim Volvo, leading from the back. Great to see him finding some form. And as we said, right at the beginning of the game, the new structures that are going to be changed and introduced to South African rugby. Side, yeah, sides like the Eagles are allowed to contract 23 players. They probably will only Come contract five or ten, as we said, so that they don't put all their eggs in one basket. The Sharks are going to be allowed to contract 45 players. So some of these players from the Sharks could very well be playing for the Eagles next year. And it's going to be so interesting, and I think very positive, to see the changes that come about in the next year. And vice versa. More opportunities for the players. Just broadens the opportunities they're allowed, and great to see that innovation coming in. Kyle Gerrard, fine interplay. Almost intercepted. Mukendi does well, hand on his jersey. And then again, Bamboto brings him to ground. Demaza stands in at scrum half. Roger Zondi, from the match, the college boy he is. He's got some proper size on him. Worst days, and he's been a real warrior today, I must say. And that's Grasman. Van der Westeisen. We now are at the full-time mark. Mabenge. It's gone backwards. The play continues. Can the Eagles squeeze out another try? Mabenge again. David at the border in 2017, and that's a penalty for the Sharks. Taken quickly, love to see the boys wanting to run it. They're not eager to go home yet. The attempt to lift up. Weidemann, unsuccessful that time. No, no, no. Beautiful no look pass inside. No. Just watch that for me, please. And now the Sharks starting to jaw. Handbags happening off camera. Maza. No, 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 no. That is that. Fudge, what do you make of the game? Look, brilliant performance by the Sharks. They were pummeled last week by the EP Elephants. Ricardo Lopes, the head coach, said, we just want these guys to enjoy the game, to get some sort of an enjoyable culture going just before their preparations for the Curry Cup. The under-21s look sharp. They look good. Looking good for them. The Eagles ended off their season also. Not too bad. I was impressed with them. They came out to play. Too many negatives, not enough positives in the end for them. But great to see with these new invo innovations. It will be brilliant to see where rugby, South African rugby goes. Opening up to the African continent. And the Sharks at the end of this game with six tries to two of the Eagles. 40-17 at full time.